All right guys, how you doing? I'm here with Carter. She is the acquisitions lead at Climb Capital. Uh, she's gonna join me today on our drive-through of another property that uh, we own called Pelican Palms. This one is located in Milton, Florida, uh, really about 10 minutes from my house and Bob's house. Uh, Jeremy doesn't live too much further. This was an awesome, awesome deal and you're gonna hear a little bit more about it in a minute. In the background, you got the new beach that we're making that's also gonna have uh, a volleyball court and then just beyond that is gonna be the, uh, the newly remodeled pool. Uh, we got our little kitty area right here as well. This park is undergoing a massive reposition right now. Uh, we'll go into the details here really quick about uh, how it was sourced, how it was funded, uh, the purchase price, and then where it was and where it's been taken. So this park was purchased uh, about spring, summer of last year. This was sourced off market through a contact from uh, one of the other owners of the of the park, Cameron. And uh, he actually got this doing a uh, landscaping job for this the lady that owned it. Long story short, they ended up going under contract at $875,000, which is pretty good when you hear uh, where, it, where it is. It had 47 pads. Two of those pads were old, kind of junky mobile homes and it was bringing in between about 16 and 18,000 a month gross. Fast forward to, we're now uh, beginning of January of the, uh, of the following year, and it's gone from 47 to 60 pads with an eventual plan to get to 80 pads plus a five unit tiny home village, which I'm gonna show you the area that that's gonna go in a minute. It's gonna be really cool. Also, we've completely rebuilt uh, the pool and the uh, the deck and everything around it. We are in the process of, of completely redoing or gutting and redoing the office and the clubhouse. Uh, bathrooms were uh, and are being remodeled. We got the uh, little playground here that didn't look like that. We've got the uh, beach that's going in, and then we are obviously uh, improving the roads uh, over time by adding in new homes, and then adding the uh, the tiny home village, which is gonna be really cool. We've done a, a lift and a uh, on the trees, as well as a removal of some of the, the problematic ones. So, really cool park. Like I said, purchase price 875 with 60 homes in it now or pads, it's bringing in uh, approximately uh, 44,000 a month gross on a very conservative 50% expense ratio. So you can kind of do the math there and see just the, the increase in uh, and not only the NOI, but the, the value. Uh, Carter, what would you say the cap for this area and this particular park would be? The, the cap rate for probably when we sell it and once everything's fully done, I mean, I would probably say it's seven and below. Yeah, and, and all, all day. It's a very, very nice park. Uh, you may not be able to hear it, uh, but it's Highway 10, which is the major east-west running interstate highway that goes from the east side of Florida all the way into Arizona and then leads into Highway 8 into California. It, it's, it's, right, it's right here. It's, it's a couple hundred yards, which you know, that is, there is some sound from it, but it's really not that bad. We've got a line of trees. So that, if anything, if there was a detriment, that, that might be it, just sound, but it's it's pretty quiet here. Uh, we're gonna be the loudest thing going through <laughs> this park this morning. Uh, we are driving the Polaris today, so not a golf cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for some of the noise. <laughs> Carter and I can talk pretty loud, but uh, it, it may just be a little bit of uh, noise interference. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a drive through the park. Um, and we'll kind of talk about, it. I'm actually gonna have Carter kind of talk about uh, some things as well. She'll just chime in and then we'll kind of end the tour where um, the tiny home village is gonna be and talk a little bit about our game plan, not only for this particular park with tiny homes, but kind of a general overall pivot that we're doing into the tiny home space. All right, let's go driving. All right guys, here we go. Entering the park right off of the, uh, right before the on-ramp. We've got a, uh, cops episode going on in the <laughs> Dairy Queen across the street here, so apologies for any... Never a dull day. <laughs> Never a dull. Alright, so this is pretty nice. Nice long uh, paved road. A little bit of a disadvantage is that how wide it is or, or how wide it isn't. Um, it's about now 20 feet across, which is enough to get two, maybe 15, enough to get two vehicles past when you're, you're you know, using these big oversized RVs, it can be a little bit problematic. 
It looks very pretty with all the trees coming down, shaded, which is nice. Yeah, very nice. And uh, you get away from that, that highway noise. All right, see, uh, opening up to the park, we're gonna kind of do, probably have to do a couple loops because there's uh, a couple different ways that you can go through the park. Um, park is a combination of pull through sites as well as back in. And then, like I said, we're gonna have an area for the cabins, which will have their own dedicated parking spaces, essentially. The first thing you see off the, uh, to our nose is the beautiful green office. Um, we're actually gonna be making it like a navy blue with white trim. Inside is gonna be like a sea salt color, so that's gonna look really nice. But that whole thing is getting, is getting redone. And we'll be putting a, a clubhouse inside, so got a big TV, we're gonna be putting a bar so tenants can have some event space in there as well, and there'll be nice couches, seating, it'll, it'll make it look really nice and welcoming to people. Yep, I went through uh, with Ashley, our park manager here, uh, yesterday, and so she kind of laid out how the inside's gonna look and have nice granite countertops, um, a TV, we're gonna get a new pool table, things like that for the tenants. And then they're gonna have, um, they're gonna have some minor, uh, you know, well, at least for now, things like ice and, and snacks and, and uh, toiletries and stuff. All right, so now we're coming into the east side of the park, the back side of the park. These are all the back end spots. Off to the left, you saw we just drove by what used to be a fish cleaning station. We're gonna put a couple more pads in there. So that currently 60 going to 80, you'll kind of see where generally we're gonna be putting these things. All right, um, these are pull through off the, the right and then back in here. It's really nice backdrop to these back end ones. Um, we've got, uh, we got 20, 30, and 50 amps here. Yep. So, uh, suits all, all needs and uh, wants. Coming up here, you're gonna see off the nose, we'll come back to this, but this open area that's kind of roughed in is gonna be where the tiny homes are gonna go. I'll drive you down this middle road uh, in between the two pull through areas. So pull through on the left, pull through on the right. Trees kind of interspersed. They have their own dedicated power pole, uh, sewer hip hookup, as well as the, uh, the water supply. Full service spots. You can see right now we got uh, the, the guys, the crew working on getting the uh, the beach built. And then right over here, if you guys can see it, is some of our outdoor event space. Got really nice twinkly lights underneath, a bunch of seating area, some games for people to play and hang out space. There's a grill, and then we've got also a little park for the children here. Yep, lots of lots of amenities, and then we're building more. We're gonna have a uh, what some other things. We're gonna probably build a pickleball court at some point, which would be pretty neat. Uh, that's actually really fun. I actually put one in our own house on the the basketball pad we got. And the other thing we're gonna put in, uh, what do we say? Uh, a cornhole, cornhole set. Yep. yep. Cornhole the volleyball man. court, a yep. beach. It's gonna be great. All right, so we're gonna go through the center. These are also pull through on both sides. Uh, right now, the, the right lane is a little bit clobbered up because, uh, as you probably saw in a minute, we are getting our uh, beach done, and that's where they're dropping off the sand. Got Cameron over there spreading all the sand. But these are all really nice spots. Um, you can see right off the nose here where all the uh, the clay is, that's going to be all pads there. So we're going to be moving some of these other things. So that should be about another 15 or so pads. Right off the nose is our bark park. So, you know, a uh, little dog park for uh, our furry friends. <laughs> and then a couple more pull throughs over here. I'm gonna swing around to the left. Uh, we're gonna get, go, we're gonna go by those, uh, where the development's gonna be. And then we'll end over at the soon to be tiny home village. So this is where we did some uh, major tree removal and, uh, and lifting as well as obviously put in the, uh, you can see some of the uh, the points for the septic and the water and the, where the power poles are gonna be. It is cold out here today, <laughs> by the way. So, Chilly 37 degrees. Yeah, it, this is Florida. Now it is January, but uh, you know, summer will be in about two days. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll be good. But today uh, with no windshield, it's pretty cold. Um, all right, so off the nose, 
We're gonna go ahead and stop here in a minute. And Carter and I will actually walk through uh, and, and talk through it in a minute here, but I'm gonna kind of park this guy out of the way. Nice driving. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be uh, the tiny home village area. Um, we're gonna basically set them up as kind of like a semi-circle or almost like a, a covered wagon style. They're not gonna be covered wagons. They're gonna be, you know, full 13 by uh, 40 foot uh, tiny homes with enclosed uh, patios and stuff. Really, really nice, kind of that beachy uh, look. And then in the center, there's gonna be um, kind of a walkway that goes in with a, a communal big nice fire ring you know made out of stone and everything like that paved around the outside with uh you know their own private access to their homes and things like that and they'll all be kind of facing in so um they'll have a little bit more of a private uh secluded setting and then they'll have the trees as their backdrop and they're right across the way from all the amenities the pool the uh the beach the cat the um the office and, and the clubhouse and, and the playground and stuff like that so it's gonna be really cool uh you got anything to add no, I mean, I would say we've done this at a few of our other parks, brought some cabins, and they've gone really well. Tenants love going in the cabins. We've noticed that with RV parks, a lot of families will come together. Some of them will take their RVs, and others will actually stay in the cabins here. So it creates a really nice feel, and the short-term revenue has is, is been yeah. great. When we bought this park, it was 100% occupied, all monthly rentals at a low 400 rate. So we kind of came in, we're up the monthly and are adding short terms and that's been a really big help to the gross bottom line. Yeah, the, the, the nightlies with the cabin should be in the 150 a night range, mm -hmm. seasonally going up and down. Um, the cool thing about this area in general is it is the cradle of naval aviation. So there's um, a lot of students getting their wings. Um, you know, that's, that's what I did for a living is, is you know, um, train these guys how to fly and then they would get their wings here as helicopter pilots. There's a lot of retired military personnel. There's a lot, I mean, the uh, Navy Federal Corporate Office yeah. is here. So a lot of people coming and visiting and there's a lot of development going on and around this area. So a great place for people to come and visit. And obviously it's Florida, it's cold today, but 95% of the year it's, it's warm. So, and we're right next to not only a major east-west, corridor but we're, we're very close to the north south corridors that go down to the beach out, out of here into the beach you're there in 30 minutes or less so yeah and it's all all highway driving for the most part so um very convenient very um very nice place and it's just going to keep getting better all right guys well, that's the park i hope you guys liked it uh, we're really excited about this property. This is one of those kind of once in a lifetime deals that you can get with essentially no money out of pocket and then turn from a pretty okay park into a, a massive cash cow. So this park, I mean, we're looking at when everything's said and done, if you didn't want to take the cash flow anymore, you're looking at a six, seven, eight million dollar park in five years. So luxury resort. Yeah, luxury <laughs> resort. Yeah, sorry. I, I, so that's why she's the acquisition. So I'm, I'm just the, I'm just the face guy. So, all right. Thanks for watching guys, we appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next one. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. You're gonna see more of Carter, more of Bob, Jeremy. Millionaire Mafia is affiliating with Climb Capital, so we can uh, kind of not only follow the business of real estate investing, but the people and the personalities that go into making the business so successful. Until next time, here's to your wealth. All right, we're towing. Gotta get the old crappy golf cart back to the the garage. See if I can't lose Carter. Oh no!